Yeah, he is right, thanks, Dennis and Carson. <laughs> yeah, Carson, two touchdowns on the day, but I know there are some things that you're probably going to point to that you'd like to clean up. Yeah, you know, we, we definitely need to sit down and look at the film. Uh, we're going to do that tomorrow. Um, but, you know, we, we did a great job in protection, um, no sacks, I think maybe one or two penalties. Um, so there was definitely some good good to take from it, but we'll always look at uh, what the ways we can get better, and there's a handful of areas, and we'll get better in those and continue to work. Yeah, I think one of the things you pointed out, no sacks, that's really huge. Derek Johnson, goodness, he was all over the field today. It seemed like there were three of him out there. He's a great player. Um, he's really come on the last, I think, two or three years. and. Uh, turned out to be a really good linebacker and a pro bowler and and uh, you know we did a pretty good job neutralizing especially in, in, in pass protection uh, but he was all over the field and made good plays and, and we expected that from him the, the, the caliber of player he is. How nice was it to get Darren sprung loose for a couple uh, 20 yard uh, close to 20 yard runs I know he's been hungry for that and yards have been hard to come by. Yeah and we almost got him in the end zone there at the end of the game and, and Derek again Derek Johnson made a great play he tried to he tried to stiff arm him and he tackled him by his arm but um, just good to get the running game going and, and get that confidence that, that's a stingy defensive front um, there's a lot of a lot of high first round draft picks in that front and uh, we did a good job neutralizing the line of scrimmage like I said in the protections and then got the running game going as the game went on what can you say about Denarius Moore his third straight game with a touchdown he's great um, you know, I'm not telling anybody anything they don't know about him he's a phenomenal football player uh, he's a selfless guy he, he you know, he, he should have eight to ten catches every single game. It doesn't always work out that way, um, but he's a phenomenal football player. How do you explain these? Uh, I know you weren't here for all of them, but six straight wins here at Arrowhead. Domination sensation, as my sports director would say. You know, we've we've uh, we've come into a very difficult environment. It's a, a rough crowd to play in front of. Uh, they're great. They're great fans. They're almost as good as ours. Uh, but they're they're great fans and, and they make it difficult on us and we, we've done a really good job uh, the, the two times I've been here blocking out those distractions a lot of times you come in here and there's some awkward weather situations So we've done a good job fighting the distractions and uh, sticking to the game plan and finding ways to, to come in here and get a win I know you're gonna be keeping an eye on that Denver game on your ride back to the Bay Area tonight Yeah, I, I wish we had TVs on the on the airplanes. That'd be a great game to watch, but I know San Diego lost uh, I did see that score alert so um, you know, we, we're, we're going to keep fighting. We're going to try to stay in this uh, until we get uh, Denver to come in to come in in front of our fans and play on that Thursday night game. It's going to be a huge game, but we got a lot of business to take care of before we get there. All right, Carson, thanks for taking the time and stopping by. We appreciate it. Congratulations on the win. Thank you. Appreciate it. Dennis, back to you. Nice quarterback. Well, thank you, Henry and Carson. You and I were just talking about some of the goals I know you've had all season long to string together back-to-back -to -back victories to get that first road win. And, of course, to get it against a division foe. You guys accomplished all that today. How satisfying is today's victory? Very satisfying. Um, you know, a division game, regardless of a, a team's record, when you come into their place, the, the crowd's going to be into it. It's going to be a hostile environment. Uh, just really proud of the way we played offensively, defensively, and special teams-wise because uh, it's a big road win. Anytime you talk about Raiders, Chiefs, it's a fist fight. Uh, we were in one today, and, and we came out on top. And wasn't sure exactly how this was going to go, because I know it didn't start exactly as you planned. First of all, was the plan to kind of target towards route on that uh, first pass, that opening pass, and then also what happened on that play? Yeah, we were going to come in and go at him. And, and uh, you know, he, he got us on the first one, but uh, throughout the day we ended up winning that battle and, and uh, did a good job on the outside. And, um, did a really good job up front with pass protection. Yeah, you guys certainly uh, punished him out there in a familiar foe with Stanford. But I think, too, the key, the defense was uh, getting some takeaways and you guys were converting. I know you had to settle in the beginning for a couple of field goals. But what did it mean to you when you saw Moore punch it in after you guys recovered it on that one? Well, defense, I think they had four turnovers, which yeah. is huge. And, and uh, we won the turnover battle, which when you play against a division game on the road, you got to win the turnover battle. And, uh, we were fortunate enough to do that. Defense just kept getting the ball back for us. We had really good field position. We need to continue to get better in the red zone. Um, we had some opportunities. We uh, had some good plays called and, and uh, just didn't convert. Uh, so we need to keep keep working on it. We will keep working on it. And our goal is to be 65% on, on uh, touchdowns down in the red zone. And we weren't there tonight, so that's something we definitely need to continue to work on. And this is the third straight game that you found in areas in the end zone. What type of player is he, and how do you guys continue to use him as a weapon out there? He's a great player. Um, I'm glad he's on our team. You know, he's, he's a young guy, but he does not play young. He does not play timid or scared. Uh, he feels like he's the best player on the field, and sometimes he might be. Uh, but just a, he's awesome. He, you know, he had a couple other chances that uh, we need to convert on, and, and uh, he gets better and better and better. He's selfless. 
Uh, he's a great teammate. He blocks in the run game. He's as excited when he scores a touchdown as he is when a running back gets a touchdown. And uh, that's what I love. You love playing with guys like that. And I know your team enjoys playing with you because last week I talked to you, you had bruises everywhere. This week it seemed like you come out a little bit better. What can you say about what your O-line did today? Can't say enough. Uh, I told the equipment manager he doesn't need to wash my jersey. I, I didn't get one grass stain on it. Uh, and that's that's a really good front. I mean, they have uh, two top five picks on the defensive line, a top ten pick, and then Eric Berry's a top five pick. There's a lot of very talented football players over there, and, and uh, they're a stingy, um, you know, salty group up front. And, and we came in and we played more physical. Offensive line did phenomenal, not just in the pass game, but also in the run game because Darren had a, over 100 yards, which is difficult mm -hmm. to do against these guys. So just really, really proud of the guys up front. Yeah, I think it's a total team victory when you talk about everyone's uh, stats out there and really all three phases coming together. But also one thing you guys did, you came into a hostile environment and you really made the crowd not an issue out there. What were you guys able to do, especially given the fact that the Chiefs were preparing on an extra week than you guys had with their bye week? Yeah, we took the crowd out of it, and this is a, um, a tough place to play. Uh, their, their fans are almost as loud as ours, and, and uh, you know, they, you come in and, and you want to score early, you want to jump on top of them and, and get the get some of those boos going. Cause once once the home team starts hearing the boos, that's when you kind of you, your mouth starts to water a little bit and you salivate because you know you got them where you want them. And, um, we took we took the crowd out early by the way we played on defense and, and by the score um, and we're able to, to really do a good job especially in the no huddle communicating and, and verbally communicating because it wasn't very loud so uh, we just did a great job you know, especially on defense like I said getting the ball back for us and getting good field position and no TVs on the plane ride home but I know you have Wi-Fi I'm guessing you'll be uh, following what uh, Denver does tonight after the Chargers lose the fact that you guys are in such a great position in the AFC West what does that mean to the Raiders and how do you kind of keep the foot on the gas right now. Well, do we have Wi-Fi? Are you sure? Oh, well, I, I double have. checked that. I mean, I have it on my Southwest flight. I thought the Charter might. Okay, I hope the Charter <laughs> does because I definitely want to. Well, I wish that was the Monday night game, um, but I know I know who Raider Nation's cheering for. Um, you know, we'd love to see Denver go in and get a win, and, and we get a chance to play. I'm sorry, New Orleans go in into Denver and get a win, and, and we have a chance to play both teams. Um, Denver again and also New Orleans so we're rooting for Drew Brees and, and uh, glad to see the Chargers lose. All right well you get back to us about the Wi-Fi and since you got the victory I feel like it's only fair to say I think the Wildcats beat the Trojans yesterday. Oh boy, oh boy. I got nothing to say I'm speechless. And on that note we'll go back to you guys a big victory for the Raiders and that's what counts with our show guys. <laughs> Thank